Hi everybody, it's Kelly again. I've got my hair back and I'm ready to do another foundation review. So the foundations that I would be reviewing today is the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation by Tarte. And the Fair Honey Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. This is a foundation all on its own. So the first one that I'm going to do is the Tarte Full Coverage Liquid Foundation. I've already prepped and primed my face so you can see what I have on my face and how this is going to cover. Now what I'm going to use is this Tarte it's a kabuki foundation brush it's very solid and I love this brush this is a fantastic brush it came with this um, it was a set <sighs> here I go again I think I got it maybe three months ago on uh, HSN or QVC I get them so mixed up all the time because I'm back and forth on both of them but if you can find it, it's on one of those channels. Like I said, it was about, about three months ago I got it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit, just like that, and I'm going to start blending it into my face. Where did it go? Oh, goodness gracious. Now this foundation, if you have dry skin, I'm going to take just a little bit more. Um, I'm afraid that it might show your little scaly friends um, just because, how can I explain this? It's not a liquidy foundation. It's very creamy, which I like, but like I've said in my my other videos I've been using some Retin-A and the process is that it's going to make my skin peel so it, it gets rid of all the old skin and brings out the new inner you skin and so I tried this foundation and Unfortunately, it had showed all my dry skin. My skin is starting to improve. So there's that side, and I still have all this to do. So it covered pretty well. It didn't take a lot of foundation. It'll last you a while. A little goes a long way with this. So you just you, you can build it up, obviously. It took some of that red away. So that is the light in Tarte. Now this one is called Fair Honey. It's in, it's again Tarte, the rival. But this is in a, a powder foundation, just like this. Can you see? It has a little webbing on top. Very, there's the foundation. It's very fine and smooth. So let's give this one a try. I didn't get a brush for this one but I'm going to go ahead and use my Sedona Lace 376. I don't know if you can see that. The sun is in the background of me now. So I'm going to go ahead and pat 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 this in just like you would bare minerals. Tap off the excess and start rubbing this in. I'm just wondering if maybe you can use a beauty blender. I'm going to try. So there's the beauty blender. A beauty blender on powder. Has it ever been done? Actually, I think it just, my sponge is obviously moist like it should be. This one gives you 
see, you can see, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but I've got dry spots and it's like latched on to them. Um, definitely not for uh, dry skin. This would be a good one for oily skin. And it's more of a natural type of coverage. If you were to use this and you needed more coverage, I would definitely use concealer with it. So you can definitely see a difference. Or you could even just use this foundation over, over a, uh, a liquid foundation. Just to see it's not, it's for me, <laughs> it's definitely not covering all my spots. Um, as it is rated a full, uh, a full foundation, let me read it again to you. It is a full coverage airbrush foundation. Uh, this one has been out for a while. Let me see if I can buff it in. With the bare minerals I remember buffing and buffing because buffing was the key to getting that beautiful coverage. But I'm not seeing it at all. I'm not seeing full coverage on this at all. I've used the Beauty Blender and I've used a brush. There is just no full coverage. This is a full coverage, this cream. I would recommend this for people with normal to oily skin. This I would recommend for people who don't have a lot of face, facial flaws. Um, who don't need that really, really full coverage, who like a natural makeup this would be definitely for you and like I said if you want to use concealer it has a beautiful finish just don't use it on dry skin <laughs> like I did actually you know what it looks better like I've said in other videos it looks better on the mirror than it does on the camera um, let me see if I can get you See, you can see little brown little brown spots, my freckles, and this one, there's a little brown, oh, that's not a brown spot. That's my brush shedding. Um, I like this one better. And my face has different little dryness spots in it, and it's not really clinging on to it like this one. I know you can't see it in the camera, but all in here I have some dry skin issues. So that is my review on these two foundations. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions at all, ooh, what is that in the camera? It's like glowing off my red hair. Ooh. I hope you enjoyed this. Please give me a two thumbs up and like this video. Subscribe if you'd like. That would be tremendous. I would love it. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.